and welcome to webdesigner-resource.com video series that's webdesigner-resource.com today we're going to look at creating a membership site uh, many of you have expressed an interest in how we set up one so what we're going to do is we're going to go through a little tutorial here as you can see I have a base site with our default template and this is simply a public download post you can see that I have a home page set up with some test content now if you see the categories I've already set up uh, members download categories members public public downloads of course uncategorized is always there I also created a menu a couple custom menu widgets here and we're gonna customize those a little bit more later so let's go right into it what we're gonna need to do first is to log on as an admin Now once inside, we're going to come down to Plugins, Add New, and we're going to just search on Membership. And the plugin that we're going to show you today is Paid Memberships Pro. I'm going to go ahead and install that. We're going to activate the plugin. And you'll see a new tab called Memberships. Now we can set membership levels. I'm going to add a membership. So let's get started by adding, we're just going to say, uh, basic member. And description, you have access. Now you can also set up the initial payment, whether or not it's reoccurring. For instance, if I want to set up a for basic membership, I'm going to have them pay me uh, $25. Okay, and that's a one-time fee. And we can set an expiration. So we're going to set it for one year. So if they pay $25, they'll get one year of access. Now I can set the categories, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to set members and member downloads so I'm gonna go ahead and save that and as you see we have a basic membership with initial payment of $25 and expires after one year and of course it allows setups so what we're gonna do is now is we're gonna come back in here and we're going to let's add a new level and this one let's just call this monthly And we're going to come up here. And monthly access. And we're going to have them pay, start off by paying $25. But we're going to make this reoccurring. And every month is going to be an extra $10. Okay. And of course, we're going to have it go for ever if you see here it says set zero to membership is indefinite and we could offer a custom trial period but I'm not going to do that and once again we're going to add members members only I'm going to hit save level now as you can see we got basic membership and monthly membership now if you look here at the pages you can actually customize different pages account page billing cancel now you can create those yourself using these short codes or you can just simply click here and let it generate them for you I think that's a much better option because once you have them then you can go back and customize them any way you want and as you can see it filled in all of the pages that it created we're just gonna hit save come here to payment gateways and SSO and right now we use only testing only but you could just change this to PayPal Express live production and here you could just use the API that you get from PayPal and right in here you could enter the account email which would be your PayPal email you can have it set up to get tax from your state and you can set it up to use SSL now of course we don't have SSL right now but I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save settings email address 
the base emails and advanced options you can see it's got some various messages that you can customize okay and this show excerpts normally you want to hide the excerpts however you know if you want to have some teaser content uh, you might want to actually leave this as to show excerpts that way you know it might tease them into actually getting a membership and you can down here you can have them agree to a terms of service and sign up right now we don't have any so we're just gonna hit no all right so let's see how this works we're gonna go over here and visit the site and here's our site so let's click on members and as you can see it says that's the name of it protected content this content is for basic membership and monthly members only register here so if I click there it allows me to choose which one I want and here they can go and sign out with PayPal now of course we don't have it set up so we're not going to do that I'm just going to go back now as you can say it's still it's still showing the actual categories and if I click on member downloads I see the protected download post but of course it's telling me it's hidden if I click on the members it shows it here so that's all the posts under members so now let's we're going to go back to our control panel and we're going to come down here to members well I should say membership levels click there Now we have the basic and the monthly, and we're going to come and go to membership list. Now right now it says no members found. Now we want to actually add a member. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to users, all users, and as you can see I right now I only have admin, so I'm going to click on admin. We're going to scroll down to the bottom, and as you can see, there's a new category. It's called Membership Levels. We're going to set membership as Basic Membership. And that's going to tell me that it's going to, the existing membership will be canceled, that's in case you were to upgrade somebody. And whether or not it expires, we're just going to hit No. Update the profile. And now we're going to switch back to our home page and refresh. And as you can see now, we're looking at that protected download post. I'm going to hit members. And there's all of our protected posts, protected download post. And of course, we have access to public, public downloads. Now, suppose you don't want to have hidden categories or membership categories, you just want to lock up certain posts. We're going to switch back here. We're going to go to post, add new, and we're just going to hit public, hidden. Members only. And we're going to choose public as the category. But now, if you scroll down a little bit further, you'll see require membership. So we're going to hit basic membership we're going to hit publish and now we're actually going to come in here we're going to do a refresh we're going to look at all the public content and now it says public hint hidden and as you can see I can actually see members only here that's what I typed in but now I'm going to log out. I'm logged out. And as you can see now, public hidden, it now tells me that this content is for basic membership only. Now here's the thing. If you have multiple levels, we're gonna have to log back in as admin. If you have multiple levels, 
you can actually have a basic membership and an advanced membership and each of these levels are actually separate memberships so in this case I'm going to go back down here to users we're going to edit admin now if you remember that first post I assigned it to basic memberships then I change this to monthly membership hit update now I'm going to go back here we're going to refresh it's going to see that we're signed in now as you can see this is our public hidden it now says this content is for basic membership mem members only now what it does is it locks that down it actually sees it as two separate things so if you have two different levels you can have some content that's only for basic members and then you can have the content set for basic and advanced members and let me just show you how you do that and right now we have the basic and monthly but I'm going to create a new level called advanced and we're going to have them give us fifty dollars for this and by default we're going to give them access to members only so now we've created that we've got the advanced membership now if you went you can also lock down pages we'll show you this real quickly now this home you'll see private content I'm going to hit edit on private content and as you can see you've got basic monthly and advanced so if I want this locked down only to advanced members I can click there, hit update. I'm going to go over to Web Designer Resources, hit refresh. Now, right now, we have no way of getting that page, so we're going to go back. We're going to go to Appearance and Menus. Now there's our members. So we're going to come down here to Pages. We're going to hit our Private Content. We're going to hit We're actually going to change this to advanced only. All right, so now we have that on our members menu. So let's just come down to widgets, and here's our member custom menu. Now we left, I had left it on main, so I'm going to change this over to members. That's so going to be the menu we just modified. Now if I hit refresh, as you remember, now I am actually set up as a monthly member. So I'm going to click here, Advanced Only. And there it says, this content is for advanced members only. Now there are many options, many things that you can do to customize this. Um, you can offer discount codes. You can actually come in and see all the members that you have. Under Advanced Settings, you can come in here and add CAPTCHA, do the terms of service requirement like I said and for the logged out users you can actually come in and customize those messages um, so that you, know, you can display whatever content you want you know sign up for a membership to get access to this alright and that is how you set up a membership site now that's very basic obviously you're gonna have to customize it however you want but that'll give you the basics and you can get moving now I just let you know that the membership pro does have some options and some add-ins for various gateways and other things so you can go to their site and check it out thanks a lot for tuning in and uh, we'll see you again on webdesigner-resource.com video series that's webdesigner-resource.com